Hello everyone, welcome to Dart tutorial. In this video, you will learn about for each loop in Dart and for in loop in Dart. Basically, looping is used to perform a repetitive task. If you have some repetitive task, then you can use loop and make your life very, very easy. Let's see the demo of for each loop. Okay. Here you can see for each loop, uh, it creates all over the list of elements or variables. If you have a list and uh, if you want to loop over that list, then you can use for loop, uh, for each loop. This is also one type of for loop. Okay. It is uh, useful when you want to loop through list or collection. Okay. Here you can see the uh, syntax for uh, for each loop. Okay. First of all, let me <clears throat> create a new file here for each dot dot. Okay. Uh, then I need to create a main method and then let me create a new list. Okay. I'll create list of string names is equal to Raj Rajesh Rita Nandita. Okay. Now let's use let's use for each loop. Okay. Okay. If you want to print this using for each loop, then just write names here and then write for each. Then the hit tab. You can just write for each for each and then hit tab and just print print element here element or you can also write here you can also write here uh, name okay and then just print name here okay now let's run the program dot for each dot dot and here you can see all the name got printed in this way you can use for each loop it is very very easy okay okay here you can see if you have any list then you can use for each loop to print that list uh, it becomes it makes your life very very easy okay and print each uh, print each and total average of uh, print each total and average of list okay uh, okay let me uh, create another list list of number okay I'm going to create a list of integer and I'll write numbers is equal to if you write plural here then it will be very very good because it is list okay okay I'm writing one two three four five six okay then if I print numbers let me first of all print numbers and run the program here you can see all the number got printed if i want to find the sum of all number using for each loop then first of all i will uh, write in total is equal to zero okay and then i need to loop numbers dot for each then i need to write total is equal to total plus this element okay you can write anything here not just only element you can write one number just num you can write one num and you can write here num and you can write semicolon here okay and then just print the total is total is dollar total okay and let's run the program here you can see okay our for each loop i'm going to okay our for each loop okay here you can see the total is 21 okay uh, 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 3 6 7 8 9 10 10 plus 5 15 15 plus 6 21 okay and if you want to find the average then just write double double average is equal to total divided by numbers dot length numbers dot length 
okay also you can print the average is the average is dollar average okay in this way you can print average also here you can see average and here you can see total okay here this norm means it will acts it will find each value first uh, this norms become one then this norm become one and then this norm become two and each uh, it, it will add uh, in each uh, statement okay this got printed multiple times did uh, this statement uh, runs multiple times so it will add first of all it will add zero plus one and uh, then it becomes total become one then it will uh, add one plus two then uh, total becomes three then it will add three plus three and then total becomes six then it will add six plus four then it will become 10 it will uh, add 10 plus 5 then it will become 15 and it will add 15 plus 6 and it will become 21 and at the end there is no item so it will exit from this loop and 21 got printed here and this will uh, divide 21 by number of length which is 6 then it will print this 3.5 in this way you can use for each loop in that okay uh, here you can see there is also another loop which is for in loop let's also see this one okay let me comment all of the code okay if you have a list of names for example i already have the list of name i will paste it here okay here you can see if you want to print this name individually then you can also use for you can write your own data type uh, string name in names okay and then just print name okay here you can see this is uh, it will extract each name of this names okay and it will print here okay let's run the program here you can see Raj Rajesh Rita and Nandita got printed in this way you can use uh, foreign loop this foreign loop is also very very useful it's your choice you can perform the same task with uh, 100 of you have 100 of option to perform a same task okay you can also practice this one and thank you so much for watching this video up to the very end if you have any question then comment down below i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching this video thank you